गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाईस्तदाल कृष्णा कृष्णभक्ताय सदभक्ताय नमो नम निनंदवंशदीप यदुगोपालनंदनम गौर प्रेम प्रचारक वंदे मदन गोपाल हरिबोल जैनिताय अगेन इन शिक्षास्तक कथा ये स्टार्ट है वी आर लिसनिंग अबाउट नामा परात श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य महाप्रभु he described so many things the glories of maha mantra that it will stop the fire the samsara will be free from this all bondage all attachments so many glories but everything is connected with this nama parad shiva parad dham parad if there is offenses then nothing will be fruitful because we are just we just uh, finished sandhya arati tulasi arati kirtan we are doing everything vigras va and everything all the practice but if there is offenses so nothing will be fruitful no benefits will come from there so we must be careful about all those aparadha offenses so what is that there is 10 types of nama aparadha already we hear two and now third first was criticizing devotees vaishnavas blaspheming them second was to make division between shiva and vishnu comparing them we should not do that third guru avagya that means uh offenses against gurudev <coughs> now here guru means not only from whom we got initiation shiksha guru also important in this regard because if we are not respect you our shiksha guru from whom we got lesson teaching in this world we must be careful about them also from whom we got some lesson for my life if somebody teaches me how to do murder it is not shiksha how i can kill someone if i got this lesson from someone it is not shiksha if i got training from someone how i can do pickpocket it is not shiksha but which is beneficial for my life maybe here in this world they are also shiksha guru maybe uh, from someone i got music lesson hmm? from someone i got uh, training about how to play mridanga they are also to all guru for this world and for our spiritual life for all guru we have to be respectful if offenses are there 
then the teaching will not work then the teaching will not work example karna and mahabharat he got lesson about weapons how to do yudhya about all the weapons he got lesson from parashuram but in front of him he hide his identity because parashuram only used to give lesson to the brahmanas she was kshatriya but in the dress of a brahmana he went to him and he got lesson from him so when parashuram he got this news when he realized he is no not brahman actually he is kshatriya so then he was really disappointed then he said oh that means somehow you cheated me so how many lesson how many teaching you got from me when it will be most important that you need that lesson you'll forget everything and it was happened in kurukshetra yuddha he forgot everything just before he died just before he died he was forgotten everything all the lesson he got from parashuram so we should not insult or disobey our guru any guru guru avagya if any how will do that in our spiritual life also if we are doing avagya that means disobeying our shiksha guru or diksha guru then everything all our spiritual practice will be fruitless no benefits will come to us next blaspheming all the scriptures like veda puranas we should not disrespect because we have to follow their path it's very important we must follow the scripture shastra otherwise what will happen bhagwan said ya shastra vidhi musrijya vartate kamacharat no sa siddhim abapnati no sukham no parangati if somebody because we are doing sometimes you know rule is something else but we are just making that rule in our way which is easy for us we should not do that what exactly written there we have to follow in that way bhagwan said if somebody is doing vartate kama charat i know everything about the rules and regulation given by scripture shastra but i imagine something and i create in my way that everything and i followed that so what will happen vartate kama charat i just follow my rule i just broke all the rules which is given by scriptures what will happen bhagwan says no so siddham abapnati i will never attain the target no perfection will come to me no so come never i will attain that ultimate happiness please no parangoti 
not a high stage in my spiritual life after my death so maybe i will not uh, get perfection that means siddhi but if i do proper way then i'll get a high stage after my life will finish end but if i am not following scripture then that stage will not come i'll go somewhere else maybe to naraka to disobeying scriptures if we want that if we want to engage ourselves to seva of sri radha govinda if we want to attain their mercy if we want to attain that holy places vaikuntha goloka vrindavan if we want to engage there then we have to follow scriptures way because in which way bhagwan is coming to us that said भगवान ऑलवेज गोइंग हियर एंड देयर इन विच वे श्रुति दैट मीन्स द स्क्रिप्चर लुक सो मे बी आई थिंक दैट ओ भगवान इज कमिंग टू मी आई एम नॉट फॉलोइंग स्क्रिप्चर भगवान इज कमिंग टू मी बट देन एट द एंड आई विल फाइंड that he went somewhere other course, not to, to me you know, because i am on not on the track in the I track so if we want to attain bhagwan if we want bhagwan will come to me then i have to follow that track track of shastra scriptures so we must be respectful for scriptures what veda said what all the shruti said because it is said what is dharma what is our spiritual practice veda pranihato dharma jadharma stad viparjaya what it is described advised in veda that is dharma what is not in veda that is adharma so we must be respectful all those scriptures then to imagine something else about the glories of maha mantra arthavad that means the glories is something else but from my mind from my imagine i describe something else so just do harinam harinam will do like this so when i'll do that it's offense against harinam it's nama parad i should not do that only i can say what is there what is actual glories of maha mantra yes maha mantra has glories it's countless maha mantra can do anything for us but we can realize we cannot say by our imagination anything and same way we should not do something else that means sinful activities to think that that if i'll continue chanting maha mantra so all sinful credits will be removed from my heart from my life by maha mantra that's also this both are parad nama parad imagine something about maha mantra and to think about that that harinam will say protect me and just engage myself in sinful activities same way 
Dhamaparad also. It's Dhamma happening. Parad. Because we know if I'll do anything in Dhamma, so I'll get benefit. You know? In Dhamma Hima, glories of holy place, Dham. It is said that if I'll not do anything, just live there. If I'll sleep there, so Bhagavan will accept that I'm offering Dandavat Pranam. If I'll drink anything, any liquid, I'll get the benefit of taking Charanamrita, getting Charanamrita. If I'll take any food, then it will give us the benefits of taking Prasad. It's the glories of Dham. So, once I just ask to Pan Krishna Baba, you know, because we have very good, sweet relation. So, I just ask him if, because he is uh, advising everyone, come he, he, here, stay in Radha Kund always. So, and in front of me, he was advising uh, such person. He came there, actually, he came there. Sometimes he is very good mood, but actually, by behavior or nature, he is not a good person. He is very attached with drinking alcohol every day. Only Kartik, you uh, will not touch. Alcohol, but all the other day, <laughs> only in Kartik, he is not touching alcohol, but all the other day, all the other day, he loves every evening, he will need alcohol, and he is not prasadi, not even vegetarian. So, I said to Pran Krishna Baba, Oh. You are giving such an advice to such person, he is drinking alcohol. He will come here and he will drink alcohol. No, no problem. He just come here and drink alcohol. He will get the benefit of Charanamrit. <laughs> but it was joking. You know? It was joking. It's actually not true. If I'll go there and I know that glory, if I'll drink anything liquid there, it will give me benefit of Charanamrit. If I'll take anything food there in holy places, Radha Kondavaddi, Vrindavan, Puridham, so it will give me the benefits of Prasad. So, I just think in that way and I start to drink alcohol there. So from you want that benefit of charnam is from alcohol. <laughs> it's not true, it's aparad. We should not use that glories. By our ignorance, always we are doing so many aparadha, you know. That's why in Prima Bhakti Chandrika, Nartam Dashtaku, he said that Tirtha Yatra Parishram Kibala Moner Brahm Sarva Siddhi Govinda Chalam. We are visiting so many holy places. Hmm? We are here. And in Karthik, we are flying there in Radha Kun, in Vrindavan, in Navadip. But before we'll be there, we'll go there, we have to prepare our heart, our mind, our buddhi intelligence in a positive way. We must develop our respect for that dham, holy place. Otherwise, in every step, we'll do some aparadha. 
Before we'll go, we must know it's not a natural place, normal place, general place, like other visiting place. Hmm? We can visit Switzerland, very nice views. And, but Vrindavan is not Switzerland. Vrindavan is Vrindavan. Radha Kund is Radha Kund, Navadip is Navadip, Puri is Puri. So it's not visiting all other places. It's visiting of Vrindavan. That's why it's known as Tirtha Yatra. Tirtha Yatra. But if our uh, intelligence are not really prepared for that, respectful, that maybe this place I can visit in this world, in this earth, but that place is beyond earth. Still, Bhagavan is performing his Lila in that place. We cannot see. <laughs> but there is invisible Lila also. Always is continuing, going. So, if such respect is not there in our heart, then visiting all pilgrims, it's just wasting time. Orisom, <coughs> wasting of our energy, our money. We must be respectful, otherwise, we can visit some places in Vrindavan. Is not only some places which is uh, just found by Loganath Prabhu and other six Goswamis. They mentioned this place is Rasasthali. This place is Nidhuvan, this place is Nikunjavan, Vamshivat. So, some places they mentioned. But where is there? I'll go to toilet. Yes, I am sure that Krishna was not there. Is it not any Lila place? Because Krishna, he. Traveled everywhere in Braj. So every inch is blessed by the feet of Sri Krishna, by the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. So all the places, every inch is Lilasthali. But we are doing toilets there, we are spitting. Ah. So, if there is no respect in our heart about that holy place, then in every step we will do some offenses. First, we have to develop such respect. Otherwise, both will happen, Nama Aparad and Dham Aparad. So, that's why here it is said that we should not use their glories. We should not use Naam, we should not use Dham. Then, we should not compare the benefits of Maha Mantra with all other Karmas. Because we are following so many things, we are following brothers, we are donating dhanam. We are doing fire sacrifice. We'll do oh, Wednesday, isn't it? So, fire sacrifice. So, from every activity, we'll get some benefits. But if we just compare that, I'll not do Harinam. I'll do this, 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 this. So I'll get the same benefit of Harina. No, it's Aparad. We should not compare. Harina is always on the top. <coughs> because only by Harina we can do everything. Harina itself is sacrifice. Harina itself 
सेक्रीफाइस इन कली युग इन कली युग हरिनाम इज ऑल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ सेक्रीफाइस इन स्क्रिप्चर इन स्मृति इट इज सेट दैट इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग फाइव सेक्रीफाइस with any all your work if you are doing puja then after puja you have to do fast sacrifice it's the rule it's the rule if you are uh, arranging some marriage ceremony there is fast sacrifice any work is connected with fast sacrifice but in kali yuga it's not necessary if you continue maha mantra with that activities then maha mantra will fulfill that activity of fire sacrifice that's why it is known as nama yagya hari naam itself a yagya sacrifice so after every work activities yeah if we'll just chant harinam then if there is any fault mistakes it will be fulfilled that's why when we are uh, reciting any stotras any kavacha hmm at the end we have to chant one mantra यदक्षरम परिभ्रष्ट मात्रा चवे पूर्ण तत्सर्व तत्द जनादन देन वी हेव टू चैंट वन और थ्री टाइम हरिनाम दैट मीन्स एक्चुअली वी डोंट नो हाउ टू चैंट द स्त्रोत्र बिकॉज ऑल द मंत्र इट हेज some stress chanda yani ki stress nya nya tarso chanda anushtup chandra trishtup chanda manda akranta chanda tutak chanda and to pronounce all those mantras to recite all those mantras we must follow all those rules according to chanda but all of us we don't know that so there will be mistake sometimes only for pronunciation meaning will change you know meaning will change same way very important very important same way when we are chanting maha mantra how we are chanting we are chanting hari ram hari ram ram no it's wrong meaning will change because this looks like bengali but not that hari naam maha mantra this maha mantra written in sanskrit actually hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare hare हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे देन इट्स परफेक्ट इफ वी आर सेइंग इफ यू आर चैंटिंग राम राम नो इट विल बी राम चंद्र नॉट बट आवर चैंटिंग इज नॉट फॉर राम चंद्र वन विल चैंट राम नाम देन वी हैव टू से राम 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 then it will be ramchandra if we are chanting maha mantra then we have to say hare ram hare ram then it's perfect otherwise it will be wrong meaning will change in accuracy means mistake so we must be careful about that don't be concerned about that for maha mantra and for other mantras also but for other mantras maha mantra if we'll chant one time maha mantra then if there is any mistake after reciting any stotras any kavacha 
if we are chanting this uh, maha mantra one time or three times then if there is any mistake if there is any fault maha mantra will fulfill it's not only for stotra for our activities also maybe we are doing some uh, puja big puja we are always doing uh, puja archan in short way but when we will do shorasa upachar puja that means with 16 part so we must follow stages for that if there is mistake at the end of any puja at the end of fire sacrifice we have to do that we have to chant that mantra yada sangam kritam karma yanata vapya janata tat sarvam kriyatam yatu hare nama nukirtana then we have to chant three times hari nam that means i am offering to bhagavan hey prabhu maybe in this activity which i which i just finished maybe here is so many faults by my ignorance maybe there is so many mistakes <clears throat> so that's why please fulfill all those mistakes and faults i'm chanting your name then harinam will fulfill everything but for that harinam we have to chant proper way not hari ram hari ram we must be careful about that so we should not compare the benefits of harinam with any other activities then this point yesterday we discussed about that krishna said to arjun do not advise to such person who is not respectful to me same way we should not you are asking about preaching isn't it so we should not advise directly harinam in that way if he is not respectful for harinam if he is blaspheming harinam we should not even chant it is said even chant in front of them because in front of me if somebody just uh, insulting my ishta <coughs> harinam it said our ishta is not nama sadhan by harinam we are serving sri krishna we are worshiping sri krishna and we can worship sri harinam because harinam is sadhya and sadhan both we can worship harinam also by chanting it's also worshiping harinam it's also worshiping krishna so if we cannot protect the maryada that means respect of harinam so will be defaulter for that if somebody says something bad about harinam if somebody say uh, something bad against my ishta krishna srimati radharani nitai gauranga so we must be there we must show our anger that time because to because we should not allow that insulting that's why we should not advise harinam to such person who is not respectful for harinam we must be very careful then how simon mahaprabhu he said that we have to go everyone and we have to ask everyone first when nitai chat he got that instruction now start to preach maha mantra you have to spread harinam and prema to everyone then nitai chat she was going out with namacharya haridas thakur again 
श्रीमान महाप्रभु कॉल हिम हाउ यू अप्रोच टू यूबा बिकॉज दे हैव अट्रैक्शन विद दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड सो दे विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट योर रिक्वेस्ट हाउ यू डू दैट देन नीता चाहिए ओके चल मई हाउ आई शुड अप्रोच समन फर्स्ट यू हैव टू रिक्वेस्ट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू रिक्वेस्ट इफ इफ ही डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट देन होल्ड हिज हैंड अगेन रिक्वेस्ट इफ देन ऑल्सो ही डज नॉट एक्सेप्ट देन होल्ड हिज फीट रिक्वेस्ट अगेन एनी हाउ यू हैव टू गिव हिम महामंत्र बट वी हैव टू रियलाइज यू हैव टू डू इन दैट वे हाउ वी कैन एट्रैक्ट द अदर्स माइंड दैट संकीर्तन संकीर्तन आई विल नॉट एडवाइस एनी वन बट आई विल डू माई सेल्फ संकीर्तन आई डू माई सेल्फ कीर्तन बिकॉज म्यूजिक is always attracting the heart of others melody it's always attracting the heart of others so i'll do sankirtan so when one will come to me and ask hey what you are doing that time i should give him that advice about maha mantra so in that way we can approach someone for maha mantra then after we know the glories of maha mantra maybe i ask someone okay you just advise me that uh, chanting maha mantra if i'll do so what i'll attain what i'll achieve if there is any gain profit benefit in my life so she will describe the glories of maha mantra if after that also my mind is not respectful then it will be aparad for me it will be offense of nama parad then it will be not of who is giving me advice for maha mantra it is not aparad of him but after i'll hear all the glories of maha mantra but then also no respect in my heart then it will be my offenses not to others and the last after we know the glories of maha mantra <coughs> that maha mantra will deliver everything in our life also which is connected in samsara we can solve our problems we can get all benefits from samsara also by maha mantra after know that all then also when i'll be attached with that pride That I'm Prem Gopal. I need nothing. I'm very rich. I have so much money. So I don't need to chant Maha Mantra. I'm already happy. <laughs> Because Maha Mantra will give me uh, happiness, bliss. But I am already happy here in this material world. with my relatives friends wife my children with my wealth so i am very happy after i know the glories of maha mantra power of maha mantra then also if i am attached so much and living maha mantra in that way it's also nama parad so this 10 kinds of nama parad is there we must be careful about that 
And in the same way, that is also Dhamma Para. We must be respectful because it's very connected. Nama Para, Dhamma Para, Shiva Para, Vaishnava Para. This four Apara, it's very important for our spiritual life. If any aparad is there, so no benefit will come to us. And mainly Nama Parad and Dhamma Parad. In this two aparad, Shiva Parad also connected. If we just follow this two aparad very well, then other two aparad will be maintained by this two. What is Dhamma Parad? That from whom I will get <coughs> the realization about holy places, Dham. Maybe I don't know anything about the benefits of holy places, Dham. Somebody gave me that knowledge. Somebody, a very kind heart, came to me and he requested me. Go to holy places. Already you waste so much time in your life. You earn so much money in your life. But nothing will go with you. Just use those money and visit holy places. If I'll just... After that, I got this advice from him. And I said, oh, go your own way. I need no advice from you. It's Dhamma Parad. It's Dhamma Parad. That means I make some offense against that Dham. Vrindavan, Navadi, Puri, Radha Kun. This Dhamma Parad. Then, to think about holy places, it's temporary. No. Dham, always eternal. It's not like other places. When nothing will be here in this earth, Dham will be there. Vrindavan will be the same place. Navadip will be on the same place. Puri will be on the same place. Dham will be there. Dham is eternal. Because always Bhagavan is performing his Leela there. Sometimes it's visible and now it's invisible way. But Dham, Leela is going there. And there is millions of Brahmandas other universe. There also, Lila is always going. Maybe there is visible Lila is going. Here in this earth, in this Brahmanda, in visible form. But in other Brahmanda, there is an visible way. Lila is going. So, to think in that way, oh, after some Maybe after 100 years, this place will be no more. It's temporary. No, we should not think in that way. We should not limit holy place. We should not say, Vrindavan is from here to there. How we are saying for other lands, other cities. We are saying, oh, oh this city from here, to there. But we cannot use same sentence for holy places. Dham. We should not limit, make some boundary about Dham. It will be Dham Aparad. Because Dham is limitless. Then how we have to meditate about Dham? Because we know Vrindavan is there. We know Navadip is there. And we know there is some boundary, visible boundary. 
because there is municipality is not so according to that their record navadip is from here to there brindavan is from here to there but we should not meditate in that way we have to think in that way that place we know as brindavan that place we know as navadip that is the center point of that holy dham and it spreaded until until where a limitless here also brindavan here also navadip where is brindavan that place is where is krishna katha that place is brindavan where is gaura katha that place is navadip so the center point of brindavan is there it spread it until here also that place is navadip that is the center point it spread it up to here we have to meditate in that way that we are also living in brindavan we are also living in navadip we are also living in puri dham then we can develop that realization inside of our heart so we should not limit dharma in that way we should not disrespect all the inhabitants there in holy places who are living there not only the human beings who born there in holy places not only the human beings if there is animal we must be respectful for them because they born there we must be respectful for all those animals also because they already blessed they are there in that place and all those person who are going the visitors if somebody just determined that i will go brindavan in this kartik i'll go to brindavan and i stop him i stop anyhow that he should not go there no 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 don't go brindavan will enjoy here <coughs> so stop this plan and he stop that <coughs> it will be my aparadha dham aparadha if i stop them if i give them problem who just determined that they will visit that place if for me it was stop then that dham aparadha will be come to me we should not stop anyone he, he took that vow that i'll visit brindavan i'll visit that holy places dhama and we should not engage there in other material work activities so many people you know from different countries so many people they went there in brindavan in radhakund and they are doing business they are using that holy places they are doing business it's also dham aparad if it is in a good way there is one way we can do because i have to stay there so it's connected with this material world we need money is not so how much we need for staying there for my uh, lodging fooding maybe only for that we can use our effort to do business and then extra we have to use for vaishnava seva bhakta seva mandir seva vigra seva so we have to use in that way that money then it will be not offense if i am doing there that business and i am sending money in other places that money is not using for good 
work, then it will be offense against yeah. holy dham. We should not perform any sinful activities there. We should not perform any sinful activities there. Then it will be dham aparad. In that place, when we will be there, we must be respectful to everyone. If we are going there, if we are there in holy place in Radha Kundi, in Vrindavan, in Navadip, and every day we are fighting, it will be Dhamma Parath. So when we will be there to visit all those holy places, we must be very careful and very sincere about that. We should not perform any offenses against Nama, Dhamma, Vaishnava. Otherwise, everything will be useless. So, Mahaprabhu, he described in Sikshastaka Fast Loka about the glories of Mahamantra, but all those benefits we can attain when will be follow that apradha if it is no offenses there niraparad nam hoite hoy premodhan from harinam anyway if we if we chant harinam then anyway we'll get benefits some benefits of maha mantra but if we want to attain prema, then we have to chant Mahamantra without any offense. Niraparad naam hoite hoi premodham. If that Mahamantra chanting is offenseless, then we can attain prema from Mahamantra. Yes, we can attain prema by Mahamantra, only by Mahamantra. But that <coughs> man must be niraparad, that means without any offenses. So, my dear, very careful about Mahamantra. From Mahamantra, you can get all benefits. So, develop such respect for Mahamantra. Because our target is not to attain the basic benefit of Mahamantra, our target to attain Prema from Mahamantra. Because we have to engage ourselves to their service. Because if there is no Prema, we cannot serve them. How we can serve them if there is no Prema in our heart? Isn't it? So without Prema, we cannot serve them. And we can get Maha Mantra, we can get Prema from Maha Mantra. But that Prema we can attain when Maha Mantra will be offenseless. So be careful about Maha Mantra. Chant from your heart with love. Hari Bol. We'll continue with Sikshastra tomorrow again. Even. Hari Bol. Jainita. Thank <laughs> you.